The Sikorsky H-19 Chickasaw was a multi-purpose helicopter used by the United States Army and United States Air Force. United States Navy and United States Coast Guard models were designated HO-4S, while those of the U.S. Marine Corps were designated ours. In 1962, the U.S. Navy, U.S. Coast Guard and U.S. Marine Corps versions were all redesignated as H-19s like their U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force counterparts. Development of the H-19 was initiated privately by Sikorsky without government sponsorship. The helicopter was initially designed as a testbed for several novel design concepts intended to provide greater load-carrying ability in combination with easy maintenance. This was followed by delivery of the first YH-19 to the U.S. Air Force on 16 April 1950 and delivery of the first HO-4S-1 helicopter to the U.S. Navy on 31 August 1950. 1,281 of the helicopters were manufactured by Sikorsky in the United States. An additional 447 were manufactured by licensees of the helicopter including Westland Aircraft, the SNCASE in France and Mitsubishi in Japan. The helicopter was widely exported, used by many other nations, including Portugal, Greece, Israel, Chile, South Africa, Denmark and Turkey. Major innovations implemented on the H-19 were the forward placement of the engine below the crew compartment and in front of the main cabin, the use of offset flapping hinges located 9 inches from the center of the rotor, and the use of hydraulic servos for the main rotor controls. The impetus for this design choice was the recent rejection of the Sikorsky XHJS by the U.S. Navy in favor of the tandem rotor Piaseki Hup Retriever. The Navy had strongly objected to the necessity to use ballast in the cabin forward XHJS to maintain proper weight and balance, prompting Sikorsky to seek single rotor design alternatives that did not require this. The H-19 Chickasaw holds the distinction of being the U.S. Army's first true transport helicopter and, as such, played an important role in the initial formulation of Army doctrine regarding air mobility in the battlefield employment of troop-carrying helicopters. The H-19 underwent live service tests in the hands of the 6th Transportation Company, during the Korean War beginning in 1951 as an unarmed transport helicopter. Undergoing tests such as medical evacuation, tactical control and frontline cargo support, the helicopter succeeded admirably in surpassing the capabilities of the H-5 Dragonfly, which had been used throughout the war by the Army. The U.S. Marine Corps made extensive use of the H-19 in the Korean War. The new helicopter squadron started operations upon arrival. Although HMR-161 helicopters were operating in hot landing zones they did not lose any helicopters to enemy fire. Hours 1 helicopters were also used to relocate rocket launcher batteries. Each Hours 1 helicopter carried four rocket launchers and extra rockets as external cargo, with the crew in the cabin. The Hours 1 helicopter proved to be durable and reliable in Korean service. These aircraft were the primary rescue and medical evacuation helicopters for the USAF during the Korean War. On 1 September 1953, Sabina used the S-55 to inaugurate the first commercial helicopter service in Europe, with routes between Rotterdam and Maastricht in the Netherlands and Cologne and Bonn in Germany. France made aggressive use of helicopters in Algeria, both as troop transports and gunships, Piaseki, Vertol H-21 and Sud-built Sikorsky H-34 helicopters rapidly displaced fixed-wing aircraft for the transport of Paris and quick reaction commando teams. In Indochina, a small number of Hiller H-23s and Sikorsky H-19s were available for casualty evacuation. In 1956, the French Air Force experimented with arming the H-19, then being superseded in service by the more capable Piaseki H-21 and Sikorsky H-34 helicopters. The H-19 left U.S. military service when the CH-19E was retired by U.S. Navy Squadron HC-5 on 26 February 1969. Surplus H-19s were sold on the open market, and civil interest was sufficient that Sikorsky offered conversion kits allowing a military surplus H-19 to be commercially operated under a standard Federal Aviation Administration type certificate as an S-55B. Turboshaft conversions in a novel campervan like, Heli Camper, conversion featuring a built-in mini kitchen and sleeping accommodations for four were also offered by aftermarket modification companies. Ultra-quiet helicopter for sight seeing flights over the Grand Canyon. The 17th of January 1975 in what remains the deadliest helicopter accident in Icelandic history, an S-55B crashed in Hvalfjörður, Iceland due to severe winds, killing all five passengers and both crew members on board. It is painted as a rescue helicopter with the 534th Air Defense Group. It is painted as Hopalong, one of the helicopters to make the first transatlantic flight. 